This is Malcolm341. In today's video, we're going to look at a script I created that deletes empty groups and transforms. Maya's built-in tool has trouble deleting empty nodes, and mine doesn't, so let's check it out. Okay, so I've been working on this model here, and in doing so, I often find when duplicating stuff or combining stuff or uh, even instancing stuff, deleting history, whatever, you'll end up with all this like junk in the outliner, like all these like extra nodes here. And if I click on these, there's actually nothing associated with them. They're just like ghost nodes. So here's like a group here. See, there's nothing, 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 whatever. And then this one here, there's nothing. And then if you look inside of it, there's also nothing there. There's like a double ghost node or whatever. So now I'm just going to create another couple groups here by pressing Control G. So I'm going to make like a null, whatever, a couple more groups, group that group, 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 group. Sure, good enough. And in a previous video, we showed how you can use Maya's own internal command to delete the empty groups. So I'm going to go up to, what is it, file, optimize scene size, options box, remove empty transforms. And I'm going to click optimize now and watch what happens. We're going to get rid of these groups here. So I'm going to click it. Yeah, sure, whatever. Boom, these are gone, but these remain. So even though that these are considered empty transforms, Maya's own internal tool doesn't work. And this is super annoying. I've even tried downloading other scripts that I've seen online, and those scripts don't delete these empty nodes either. So whoever wrote this code and whoever wrote those scripts that I tried online, they don't actually clean up your scene. They just get rid of these simple groups, which Maya's default tool can already do. So now let's try out the new tool that I've added to the shelf. So if you come up and you've purchased the Mega Pack, you will see this new trash can icon, and it was called DEG, which stands for Delete Empty Groups. And all you do is you click the button, click, boom, everything cleaned up. One click checks your whole scene actually deletes empty groups for real. And it also deletes all those weird ghost nodes in your scene too, which I don't know, like I said, every other script I've tried just can't do it. So I was super annoyed and I went and wrote my own and it works. One thing that you'll need to watch out for, though, is this tool needs to go into every single node in your entire scene and check it if it's got like a ghost node attached. And so that can be really time consuming. So watch out, you know, if you run this on a scene with hundreds of thousands of meshes or whatever, you know, it's going to take minutes or 10 minutes or something it's going to feel like Maya froze. It hasn't. It'll finish. But what I would do is I would run the tool more often instead of waiting, you know, two months to finish your model or however long it takes you, two weeks, whatever. Run the tool periodically rather than waiting until the end and do it because it's just going to be super slow and you're going to think that Maya froze. So one other thing that you need to know about the script is it will delete history for every object in your scene, but it shouldn't delete the former history. And I'll show you what that means. So here I've got a lattice. So I'm just going to select a point here. So you can see I've got a lattice going on there. And then you can see here I've got a little bit of rigging going on here. I've got a bone inside the cylinder. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab the face here and just extrude that. And that's going to add some history over here. So when I select this guy, you can see I've got the poly extrude. I've got the skin cluster for the rigging or whatever. And now if I run the tool, click it, boom, everything's cleaned up. So you can see here, I've still got the lattice working there. And then on the bone or whatever, I still have the rigging working. But you'll notice over here, I've lost the history for the extrusion. And if you're working on a scene that has a lot of rigging, like a character or something like that, I would always save a scene just before you run this, just in case there's something that I've missed and it ends up deleting something that was important to you. I needed to do it this way, otherwise it couldn't actually clean up the ghost nodes because some of the ghost nodes are just related to history that's like out of date. And so if I deleted part of the ghost node but left the history in the scene, it would actually like create some weird stuff like you might lose material assignments. So just watch out for that. If you've already purchased the Mega Script Pack or the Modeling Pack, this will be a free update. So you just need to download the same file again from your original email link to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the modeling pack, or you can get it in the mega script pack. So take your pick. Thanks very much for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel would not exist. If you liked this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad free. See you next time. Have a tremendous day.